Pretty scary hole. So you wouldn't, you don't think you could pull me off if I jump? No, in? I'd like, I'd get a rope. Okay. And what if there's like a wild bear down there? You know, until you get down there, you find out. <laughs> right? It could be hiding, lurking in the corner. You can get down there, all of a sudden, brrr, a hungry bear. <laughs> and he laughs. <laughs> That's the steel side right there? Yep. This was, there was a cover on this at one point. It just rotted away. I bet you there's some old bottles down there. I bet you there's some old stuff, period, down there. Look at the rock. That's insane. Is that a beam of wood coming across too? Because that looks like a perfectly straight cut, right? Oh, look, the wall is, the wall's lined with metal. Yeah, that's what I just said. It's a tunnel, yeah. It's a, it, yeah, huh? It's a tunnel. It's a tunnel, yeah. Right? So as you can see, when you get down there, you could probably, you'd have to crawl, like not crawl, you'd have to duck. But, ooh, another crack in the tunnel. Now, what, now you know why I said danger. <laughs> right? Well, someone's probably dying. <laughs> this is insane. You gonna go? All right. I put my glasses away before I lose them. Thanks. Be very, very careful. <laughs> Is it open? So you can walk through there. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. There you go, right to that hole. How far are you going, mister? I got a hat light. On you? Yeah. Not gonna help us very much. <laughs> the thing is, this come thing. On, come on, don't be scared. Oh, I'm freaking scared, all right. What? What? Really? I think we're scared about falling through a hole. Let's get that light up here. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, hold on. It's gotta be light on my camera. There we go. The more light, the better. Freaking Steve, look, there's gonna be collapse. Look at the collapse here to, the, to your right. If this class would be dead. Steve. Don't keep going. Remember we get up four. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's the hole. Yeah. You're scaring the living crap out of me right now. Yeah, there's a the hole, all right. Yeah, you? <laughs> Last? No, that's new. Well, it's not new, like from the 50s, 60s. That's as far as I'm going. It's all records down there. Steve! Stop scaring me. How much further does it go? Yeah, thank you for this. No. I'm done. <laughs> no. Unless I have brighter lights. Do that big piece of water. Okay, let's head back. 
Can I take a souvenir brick with you? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Mmm. It's like a booty. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'll try to see the set of eyes. <laughs> no, you're not going to see anything. I'll be gone. Baby ball. Yep. Bring these for my for your uh, collection. collection. Yeah, there's more rocks. There's some more there that flaps with that flaps. Wow. Look at that hole. It's good. There's more flaps. Yeah. Gosh, really can't think of Man, when I was a kid, I would do this in a heartbeat, but as I get older, I realize how dangerous this stuff is. Hence the Incredible. danger, stay out. <sighs> and we immersed. <laughs> Here we go. That's cool. TB2. TB, what is that? Maybe it's not, maybe it's something more on there. TB, LO2 or something? LO2 or, yeah, looks like it. It's gotta be really old. Oh yeah, for sure. So we'll take this back, we'll pick it back up. Just look at the brick wall here. Yep. Amazing. This is what it's all about, eh? The adventure. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Gosh, I think I lost my keys back there. Yeah, right. <laughs> back in the hole? You want to narrow head? Yeah. I'm kidding, but. Wow, this stuff is almost, this is flint. This is flint. They were, they were chipping here. That is a piece of flint. That is a piece of rock. That is... Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, are you pulling a bull? Bull net? Steve, this is a... Uh, this is a creek that I would actually pull a bull net and come and swing it. Yeah. Right? Yep. Your light's still on. Oh. And the light on the camera. It's uh, off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Superb. Well, you want to go get the detectors out and go detect them? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I don't know, you might see a little. Arrowhead. Wow. What the heck is this? Oh, plastic lid. Squish plastic lid. I mean, great time of the year to detect. Oh, beautiful. Just look at that there. tunnel that you can see. that thing? Oh, it's a bob. Yeah, you know what you do with that? Mm. Tie a, a, uh, like a, um, a braided line around that, really really nice and tight. And then you put on your uh, a ring, a gold ring on the other end, uh -huh. right? And then that's what you use for your tester when you're down on the beach or whatever, or in the, in the dirt. You bury your ring, right? So you know you, if uh -huh. that's on the surface, yeah. you won't lose yeah. it. And then test your machine and then pull it out. Oh. And uh, these are really good to use for those. Oh, cool. You gonna keep it? Yeah. All right. Do you want it? Nah. Good. Yeah, you keep it as a souvenir. Yeah. And here we are at a uh, ancient bottle dump, probably dating from what would you say? I mean, well, the they're top, newer ones. The, the top layer is from like the 40s and 50s, and I'm, I have the feeling once we get down, you, you'll probably get stuff in, uh, you know, turn of the century stuff. But this was quite interesting. Obviously, there was a fire. But look at it, completely melted this bottle. Look at it. Yep, it's like it's sunk in. 
that is a, that is a keepsake. That's yeah. pretty cool. Like, yeah, I've that's never seen one like that. Really, really freaking yeah. cool. They make a nice. Uh, you could sell that baby on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, that's this is from the bottle. We just started, so these are take uh, off the coats and uh, get into this. Yeah. Start doing some digging. Look at that ketchup bottles, pottery, the blue glass. Well, we'll uh, keep you informed and see what we get. We were intending on doing some metal attack, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Well, you're down three feet. Yeah. And yeah, there's just so much here. It's crazy. Pretty soon, oh, yeah. <clears throat> probably going to get into hopefully some clay stuff or some some console stuff would be really nice. But all this stuff is still from the 40s, 50s. Yeah. It's just, this is quite the bottle there. Mounds and mounds and mounds. Yeah. This is my little piece of heaven dirt. And the field actually is in really good condition. There used to be an old homestead. Believe it or not, only enough to do it was copper. Oh, cool. What do you think that is? That's a nice signal. How deep? Six inches, eh? But it's not too bad. I've had worse. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, but I actually took the coin out before I put the camera back on. But anyways, an impression. There's a coin impression on the dirt. That's in pretty good shape, it looks like. Wow. That's a token range. In the middle, nails and one. I don't get it. I'm getting a great signal. So this is Laura, and she she found the oldest coin that I know of in Canada at this point. She's not even close. She's <laughs> off by a hundred years. I I can edit this out, but I might not. <laughs> All right. Okay, where we're gonna have at her, we're gonna dig up her whole lawn here, right in front of this, so that she can take pictures of a bunch of dirt. How's that? Sound? Oh, come on. <laughs> We're going to go over there <laughs> and around the house. Right. Bye.